Hi, it's me, Alexandra Apple, Redken artist and salon owner, here to tell you some hot tips on how to deal with your thick hair. One of the biggest problems for people with thick hair is that often their hair is getting really puffy and dry. So they tend to say that the hair puffs outwards and I'm here to tell you guys what the best products are to deal with that. If you haven't watched my other video already, you can check it out here on the best shampoo and conditioner to buy. But for now, I'm going to talk about aftercare, which would be uh, treatments, leave-in treatments, and oils that you can use. So the first product I'm going to talk to you about is the Real Control Crema Care, which is a leave-in styling treatment. And this is going to absolutely change the way your hair feels and acts and will surprise the hell out of you, actually. Those of you with thick, puffy hair, if you just put a small amount of this, you really only have to put about the size of a dollar if you have, not even a dollar, a quarter if you have medium to long hair, and you can put even less with short hair. All you're going to do is put that through your ends and spread it throughout the top after, and this is going to hydrate, uh, give protein, and completely change the way your hair feels. It's going to soften it because of the shea butter that's inside, and just help you to reshape the way your hair falls. The best way to follow up your leave-in treatment is to seal it in with the best oil possible. When it comes to oils on the hair, there's two different options. We have argan oil and we have a new generation of oil, which I'll explain to you a little bit later. Argan oil we've been hearing about for a while and that's the first one I'll tell you about. My favorite is the Argan 6 by Redken and it's awesome for people with very thick, very dry ends. It's quite a thick formula. It, you really don't need a lot, as you can see, it just comes out like a tiny amount because a little bit really goes a long way. There's argan oil in here, but there's also some silicone, which is going to help in very humid climates. And it's going to help to take away any frizz and smooth out the texture of your hair if it feels a little bit rough. However, some people might find that this is a little bit too thick and that they can't reuse it on a day-to-day -day basis because it's going to start to overlap and create a bit of an oily film in the hair. So this is when the second generation of oils comes in. There's two different versions, but this is the intense version that is made for thick, dry hair. What makes this oil different than the argan oil is that it's a little bit finer and will absorb a bit deeper into the hair. Therefore, you don't have to worry about putting a little bit too much because it will absorb right in and you can put it on a day-to-day -day basis. You also don't have to put a lot, so a little bit goes a long way. And it comes in a super nice bottle. <laughs> it's super important that you put an oil after you put your leave-in moisturizer because, as we know, oil floats on top of water, right? And water is considered a moisturizer. So if we put our oil on top, it's going to seal that moisture in the hair. If you skip a step and let's say don't put your uh, leave-in conditioner or leave-in treatment, then you're kind of just sealing what's already dry. It might feel softer on the outside, but the inside of the hair is actually still going to be quite dry. So it's really important that you get that leave-in treatment and then put the oil on top. And don't do the reverse because the treatment will not be able to penetrate through the oil. You can also make it a little bit easier by putting a few drops of the oil in the actual treatment. So you can do a two-in-one step. So try that at home and let me know how it goes. Thank you for watching and tune in next week to hear about some more awesome tips.